All right, hello, PCIM. I'm Nick Fergunst from Helix Semiconductors. I'm here to share with you our vision of new frontiers and voltage conversion technology. So why am I here? Well, the world has a problem right now. We have a lot of different devices being plugged in every single day. And as we plug in more and more of these devices, our power demands grow, whether that be your cell phone, tablet, laptop, toothbrush or electric vehicle. Everything you plug in strains our grids. And as engineers, we have a little bit of a blame for that as well, since we like to use kind of antiquated design techniques, something that is safe versus something that's innovative and new. And when you couple that with some of the tightening efficiency standards that you'd find across the world today, we have a big problem. So why am I here? Helix Semiconductors has the solution. We have two main keystones of IP. First is our MUXCAP technology, which allows for a capacitive power conversion at extremely high efficiencies. And the second is our CAP ISO technology, which allows for power transfer and isolation through a capacitive barrier. When you combine these two, we get a highly efficient, small, simple solution where the efficiency is actually greater than that of a traditional magnetic-based approach. So using those two cornerstones of IP, we've developed a number of products. We have AC to DC and DC to DC converters in isolated and non-isolated designs. We use a proprietary conversion technology, and we have our TL, or transformerless, capacitive isolation. When you combine these, you get a very high level of integration and high power density. And how we do this is actually making a true high power system on chip. We've partnered with XFAB, which is our foundry of choice, and we are their alpha customers, the first ones. That's part of our proprietary solution. We're the only ones capable of doing this right now, and we have a partial silicon insulator CMOS process. What this allows us to do is actually put our high voltage 400 volt devices on the same piece of silicon as our low voltage devices, 1.8 volt 3355. And that's unique and patented with us. So here's a block diagram of our MUXCAP technology. As you can see, it's very simple and tightly integrated. You have the input voltage coming in here. You have some external fly capacitors up top, a bulk capacitor on the output, and then V out. And that's all you need. There's no inductors, no transformers, nothing of that sort. As you can see on that one block diagram, we have the high voltage switches, switches integrated. We have gate drivers and all the control logic, all in one. So with our CAP ISO technology, this is another state-of-the-art, unique, patented solution that we can do power transfer and isolation by just using capacitors and inductors. No transformer required. So since we don't need a transformer, you can really get the power density in there because of the transformer is very big and bulky. Uh, another thing to note is that we've actually sent a prototype board to underwriter laboratories, and they've tested it for both UL and IEC standards, and we passed all their tests. And if anyone's interested in those reports, we can always send those to you as well. So here's a block diagram of our CAP ISO technology. As you can see, again, it's quite simple. We have two MUXCAP stages, as well as the CAP ISO in the middle. So we use the first MUXCAP stage here to take the input. We go through a MUXCAP. We modulate that voltage, send it through an LC network here, where we rectify it, send it through another MUXCAP stage, and we have the output. This is, again, a proprietary and patented technique that allows us to send the power through that capacitive isolation barrier. And again, no transformer required. So now that I've told you a little bit about the technology that we have, I'd like to show you some of the products that we currently have out. So the first is our MXC200 family of parts. These are five application-focused parts. All of them can accept a 48-volt-in nominal, up to 60 volts max. And these come in isolated and non-isolated solutions. I'd like to show just a couple of high-level features of each of these parts on the next slide. But we actually have all of these demo boards available here today at our booth in Hall 6. So just stop on by if you want to see some more information on them. So the first two up here are actually our buck converters. We have our boost converter here. And then we have a pair of products that form our cap ISO, pardon me, cap ISO barrier. 
So the first are our two buck controllers. The important takeaway here is that we can actually change how the MUX caps are configured internal to the part. So in the first part, we actually have our divide by two MUX cap stages all set in series, and we bring out each uh, independent voltage rail here. This allows us to do divide by two three separate times to get a 48 volt, 24, 12 volt, 6 volt output. Whereas on the second part, we've actually put the last two MUX cap stages in parallel, which allows us to do a straight 48 to 12, a divide by four. All of these get 97.5% efficiency with 15 watts. Then we have our boost converter part. And the important thing to note here is that we've just flipped the orientation of the MUX cap. So instead of being a divide by two, we're now actually a multiply by two. So we can take a 12 volt in, make a 48 volt out, again at 97.5% efficiency, up to 10 watts. Our next two products, the pair of cap ISO products here, as you can see, do the modulation, the LC barrier, and then the demodulation on the other end with more MUX caps. This is primarily for an isolated transfer, kind of something like a PoE type environment. And we can show that on some of these demo boards that we actually have today in Hall 6. So we have our two non-isolated, unregulated bores, which are just like the buck converters that you saw on the first slide there. Then we have our regulated outputs, which actually have a a 5-volt buck regulator on the output of them, or a 32-volt buck regulator on the output. We also have our TL, or transformerless, isolation products. So the first board is an unregulated 48 to 12, and the second board has a 5-volt buck regulator on the output to drive a USB stick from a PoE input. So we also have some products that are coming out very quickly. These would be our MXC 300 chipset of parts. This was designed with the target application and lead customer in mind. It's a 65 watt, 20 volt out nominal device that just requires two ICs to achieve that. We get a 94% efficiency at 25% load or greater. And again, we don't require a transformer at all to do this isolation. This might be a bit of an eye chart, but this is our reference design for that 65 watt product. It's actually pretty simple. We first take a universal AC mains input here, so anything from 85 volts to 240 volts input. We rectify it and send it into our MXC 310 controller, where we use some MUX cap stages to filter the input. We then send it through our LC isolation barrier into our MXC 300. From here, we go through multiple MUX cap stages to get an output. This allows us to send a 280 volt cap ISO voltage down and then have a gain divider on the output to get our 20 volts nominal out. Something else that's important to mention here is that we actually have this optional path that comes from the 300 back through another cap ISO barrier to the MXC 310 again. This is uh, kind of akin to having an auxiliary winding on a transformer. So if we had our primary side, secondary side, that would be the auxiliary side. But again, no transformer required. This allows us to send the low voltage produced on the 300 side back to the 310 and power it for even higher efficiency. And so speaking of that, to measure one of these MUX cap stages, just one of these here, this is actually measured efficiency in the lab. This is not simulation or theoretical. This is in the lab measured. We also have a, a system set up right now in Hall 6 where you can see this in action today as well. So one thing to note here is that we're actually starting around 97% efficiency, quickly getting up to 98% and staying above 99% for the rest of it. This line would be very flat if we actually started at 0% efficiency, but we actually start at 80% down here. Otherwise, there'd be nothing important to show. It would just be a flat line over the entire efficiency curve. So these are some products that some of our competitors have now. And as you can see, their power densities max out around 1 watt to 2 watts per cubic centimeter. Our lead customer right now is designing in products with 4.5 watts to 10 watts per cubic centimeter. No transformer required, 65 watt output. This uh, board image down here is actually our lab evaluation board for the MXC 300 chipset. 
This is not intended to show cost optimization or size optimization. This is a lab evaluation board, so you can bring it back to your lab and probe it and actually see all the signals. So it's meant to be big. However, you will see this kind of rectangle around the board and the silk screen. Those are really the only required components. And as you can see, there's a lot of area between them because this is not optimized. Everything else is just made for lab evaluation. So you don't need most of the for I2C or DIP switches. So those were kind of the products coming out right now, and you, we have those available for you to see in our exhibitor booth. And now we'd like to show some of the products that we have coming out in the pipeline. So this is our MXC100 series of chips. This was actually our first product. It was kind of used as a transportation vehicle for our technology. So it was designed as a USB-C PD3 controller. That's why you see it has the standard 5 volt, 9 volt, 15, 20 volt outputs. But the key thing to take away here is that we've actually coupled our MuxCap technology with a standard transformer. And by doing that, we can still achieve over 95% efficiency. So you don't gain the same high power density as you would if you were able to get rid of that transformer, but you're still able to gain the benefits of our MuxCap technology. And again, this is measured performance of that MXC100 series of chips using a transformer, where we start at 95.4% and go straight up to 98% and stay there throughout the entire load curve. Again, this is at 90% on the bottom down here, not 0%. So this would be another very flat line over the entire efficiency range. So where would we like MuxCap to go next? Well, we would like to get into some lower wattage markets. We're currently optimized for 65 watts in our MXC 300 range, but we can easily adapt between 5 watts and 35 watts, or you can start paralleling some of these devices to get into the higher wattage, 75 watts, 500 watts, and above. We actually have some customers now that are using a massively parallel scale, that putting multiple MXC 200 series, and they can get 1.5 kilowatts, 3 kilowatts, and above by using the same technology. So to summarize, Helix has the highest power density available today. We have capacitive power transfer, capacitive isolation, AC to DC, and DC to DC converter applications. No transformer required. So with Helix Semiconductors, we'll really be the solution to enable you customers to drive innovation. Thank you very much.